Now the internal obliques run the other way. The internal obliques, if this is my external obliques like this, running like my fingers are running, the internal obliques run like this. And the external are external, internal are internal. So they run the opposite way. So my internal obliques on the regular model, you gotta turn this guy on edge. And if you turn this guy on edge, you'll see external obliques, internal obliques, and transverse abdominis all on the edge. And let me see if they have numbers. Aha, they have numbers, but they're right on the torso. The external obliques on the torso, I can't even see that with glasses. Can you see that little tiny number? 523. Sure. 523. And it's written on the edge of the torso. 523 is the external obliques. What's the next one in? Uh, 569. 569 is internal obliques. And what's the next one in? Uh, 355. And 355 is transverse abdominis. They go from superficial to deep. External obliques, internal obliques, and transverse abdominis. The numbers are right on the edge of the torso. Now, Fred is actually a little bit better in this case. Fred goes like this. 80 is external obliques. 63 is internal obliques. And then transverse abdominis is in here, but not no. Unfortunately. I don't see a number, do you? No. Okay. Now next. The next set of muscles are actually, I give you two main muscles, but there's actually subgroups of these. And this is for, uh, except for Mike, for, for my other gentleman in here, because I'm sure Mike has heard of this before, because he's a nurse and he's a husband and a father. But for the rest of you gentlemen in here, you guys ever heard of Kegel muscles? Yes. You have? Yes. You ever heard of Kegel muscles? Yeah, man. I'm impressed. Okay, so for the gentleman in here, Kegel exercises are so a female is not incontinent when she's 80 years old. That's what Kegel exercises are for. What did you think they were for, Isaac? Oh. Yeah, what did you think they were for? I've heard of a few different things. But oh, okay, so. <laughs> men usually think Kegel exercises are for their benefit. No, it's for both. They're not. They're, they're so the female strengthens her pelvic, her pelvic floor muscles and is not incontinent when she's 80. That's what they're for. These next two muscles are a group of muscles, really, and they're the muscles that Dr. Kegel was talking about when he told his patients to do Kegel exercises. That's where the word comes from, a guy named Dr. Kegel. So I'll point these two muscles out. I will tell you, if you're a female, most females know what this is. If you are, I'm not gonna embarrass you, but if you don't know what this is, a Kegel exercise is like this. If you're urinating, stop your urine flow. Just hold your urine in. That's a Kegel exercise. The muscle it takes you to squeeze your urethra and stop the urine flow are the Kegel muscles. So that's a Kegel exercise. All right, here are the Kegel muscles. The first one is coccygeus. If you look deep in here, the coccygeus is 387. That's the coccygeus, 387. The next muscle is called the levator ani. There's, th go ahead, you have a question? Oh, no. The next muscle is the levator ani. It has three groups to it. The levator ani is 388, 389, and 390. The levator ani is all around the anus, and it's 388, 389, and 390. It completely encircles the anus. Now, you're gonna say, well, why do we call it, why is there three different numbers? Because the 388 is called the pubococcygeus of the levator ani. 389 is called the iliococcygeus of the levator ani. And 390, puborectal. 390 is the puborectal of the levator ani. Because it goes from the pubis to the rectum. It's about where these guys run. But 388, 389, and 390, you only have to know is levator ani. You don't have to know pubococcygeus, uh, puborectal, pubococcygeus, uh, whatever one I missed, iliococcygeus. You don't have to know all three of those. Any questions about these muscles? All right. 
Oh, does Fred have them? <laughs> good. Good question. Fred. Okay, Fred probably has them, but the insert into Fred is missing. Let me explain something to you guys. Uh, you can see where an insert goes in here. We can insert male or female parts into this, these torsos. Fred's insert is missing, and that's where the muscles on Fred are. So Fred doesn't have these Kegel muscles. Poor guy. All right. 